I'm particularly concerned about the rhetoric around only criminals having access to guns or it being people that have illegally obtained firearms causing death. There are f about 47,000 suicides in this country annually. 50% of them are by gun. And suicide is responsible for nearly two thirds of gun deaths nationwide. One of the most at risk groups for suicide by gun is our veterans with nearly one in five gun suicide victims being veterans. Nine out of 10 people who attempt suicide do not reattempt. And I worked for years as a suicide prevention counselor um, following instances of, of suicides in my life. And means reduction, taking guns out of people's hands, taking the means away from them where they can make short-term decisions with very long-term consequences can protect so many lives. So for the sake of our veterans who work so hard for us and risk so much for us and then come home and are dealing with issues, there, there are absolutely people who are in crisis who need help before they do something drastic and this ERPO bills in particular are a means to protect them. And by not bringing this legislation forward today, we do a disservice to our people and our veterans in particular.